Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4B of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 103, and the question is 8. Now, the person who wants this book has said this question is NB, so clearly his teacher thinks this is very important. So it reads, a river, 60 meters wide, flows at 3 meters per second parallel to its straight banks. A boat can go at 5 meters per second in the still water. Find the time which the boat will take to cross by the shortest and by the quickest routes. This is actually quite straightforward. So let's draw the y-axis and the x-axis creating our x, y or Cartesian plane. And I'm going to draw in my dodgy blue marker the banks. Now which is the quickest route and which is the shortest route? We'll get rid of this, we don't need that anymore. So the shortest route clearly is straight across. That's the shortest route. However, of course, we know that the particle or the boat is going to drift. So if he, he heads straight across, he's going to have this much actually travelled. So that's probably going to be the uh, that's going to be, we'll say, the shortest route, but it will take the most time to go. So the quickest route would be the one where he actually went straight across. So if he actually went straight across, he would have to go against the current and end up going this direction here, which would be the shortest. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. We're going to analyze what does V boat relative to the water mean. It means VB minus VR mathematically. But it means, of course, that the river is stationary. All right. So it's how you would cross the river if there was just it was a lake, for example, and you didn't have to take into account the fact that there was a current. All right. So that means if we we're just talking about VBR, VBR would be if for the uh, for the the short or for the quick for, excuse me for the shortest route, VBR would be straight across. All right. So VBR is where I'm actually going to head, but it's not actually where I went because VB is actually where you go. So if I head across and the current is going this direction, well then the actual boat will go this way. All right. Whereas if I if I head if VBR is this direction, and the current is this direction, the boat will actually go straight across. All right. So the below the boat the VB is if you were in a helicopter above, what you would see the boat would do would doing. Whereas VBR is the guy in the boat saying this is the direction I'm going to go. All right. So he doesn't know, of course, that he's he's drifting down. He wouldn't notice that himself. So let's just plug in the figures. So we know that. It, the velocity of the river is plus 3 i hat. We don't know the velocity of the boat. And we know the velocity of the boat relative to the river is 5 meters per second because the river would be stationary and we would get 5. Now, where are we going to go? The question is this. It's, it's five, magnitude of 5 units. So to go the shortest route, I'm going to head straight across. So this is going to be plus 5 j hat. That's the shortest route. All right, of course, VB won't actually be that. So VB is, excuse me, VB is going to be 3i hat plus 5j hat, which makes sense. If I try and head straight across, I'll actually end up going this direction, which is in the positive i hat, positive j hat direction. The magnitude of that is going to be the square root of 9 plus 25 so the square root 34. Alright, now the question is this, we're asked to find how long it takes to get across. So from here, excuse me, you can't see that, from here to here is a j hat displacement. We're only going in the j direction, so it doesn't matter about the i direction. So for a j hat displacement, we need a j hat velocity. So to travel a displacement of 60 meters, then we need a j hat, uh, a j hat velocity which is 5, so that 60 over 5 giving 12 seconds. All right, so that is to be well, that would be like to go the, the shortest route across, but it end up actually taking the longest time. All right, so you've VBR the shortest, however, it takes VB the longest time. So let's change that and say this time I'm going to say 
where I, I actually head it into the current. So this will be VBR. VR hasn't changed, or VW hasn't changed, or VW, VR hasn't changed, and I expect to go this way. So VBR is equal to VB minus VR. Remember, of course, this means the river is stationary, and we're told that it, it can flow 5 meters per second in stationary. So this, the magnitude of this is equal to 5. This time, however, this time, however, I'm going that direction. Okay? So let's uh, let's see what we get here. Okay, so we have VBR is going in the negative i hat, negative j hat. So how do we do this? Just let me think for a moment. So this guy hasn't changed. And this this guy hasn't changed. The magnitude of which is equal to five units. All right, the magnitude of which is equal to five units. So let's get the magnitude of VB without actually getting the x component and the y component or the i hat and j hat components I'm just going to use magnitudes alright so vb squared that's just vb to be squared plus uh, 9 is equal to 25 vb squared is equal to 25 minus 9 is 16 vb is equal to 4 alright and its direction is going to be j hat so as a result we're able to work out the, the, the time taken. So it's 60 divided by 4, giving us 16 seconds. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.